season. Just think, Pastuzo. This time next month we'll be in London. Where the rivers run with marmalade and the streets are paved with bread. Did you read the book about London? I skimmed it. <laughs> Pastuzo. Well, reading makes me sleepy. But any city that can come up with this is all right by me. Oh, Pastuzo, look! It's... it's a cub. Who is it? Lower me down. Be careful. Lower, Pastuzo, lower! I'm afraid we're not going to London after all. Why not? We've got a cub to raise. What's he like? Rather small. <coughs> and rather sneezy. <laughs> but he likes his marmalade. That's a good sign. Uh oh, yes, Pastuzo. If we look after this bear, I have a feeling he'll go far. Stay out of sight until London. But aren't you coming? I am too old and too tired to go any further. Well, then what will you do? Don't you worry about me. I will be safe in the home for retired bears. But it is not yet time for you to retire. You must find a new home in London. But... but I don't know anyone there. What if they don't even like bears? You know, there was once a war in the explorer's country. Thousands of children were sent away for safety, left at railway stations with labels around their necks, and unknown families took them in and loved them like their own. They will not have forgotten how to treat a stranger. Now take care, my darling. Remember your manners. <laughs> far to my friend's antique shop. Why don't we walk? Oh, now if you look carefully, you can see your hat has been hand-stitched, which suggests it was one of a kind. Yes. Hello there. Oh, wait a minute. Very subtle. Oh, oh Paddington! The gentleman dropped his wallet! Where is he? Lie down! Oh, stop! Some kind of 
tiny police bear. <laughs> Maybe you and Dad just need a fresh start. Hmm. Suppose I didn't make the best first impression. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Why don't we try to make you look a bit more presentable? Hang on a minute. You're not talking about... The facilities! <laughs> Relax, Paddington. Not that bad. It is that bad. <laughs> Doesn't it rain enough in this city without having showers in the house? <laughs> We are parents now, and we have to protect our children. We do! They're screaming! No, darling, that's the sound of laughter. <laughs> wind. Hot wind. Too hot wind. I don't like it. Well, I hope I don't look weird after all that. Too much? Too much. Too much? <laughs> well, give me a brush, will you? <laughs> ah, there it is. It's my old duffel coat. Actually, it was mine first. Well, long before that, it was mine. <laughs> oh, was it, Mr. Brown? Really? He wore it on his first day at school. It's lovely. Wooden buttons for ease of pull. And these two sandwich compartments are an excellent idea. I must say, it suits you very well. I never thought I'd like a human coat, but... You look like one of the family. Oh. You're not going to send Paddington to the authorities, are you? You will try the drug for skilled. Yes, all right. We'll yes. see if they know anything. But if it's a dead end... I'm sure it won't be. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Ah, oh, Mr. Brown, come in. I just had a visit from Madame Kosleva, who runs the fair. Oh, yes. They were having a clear out and found all these old crates stuffed full with memory bilia they thought had been lost forever. Oh. She asked me if I would sell it for them while they're in town. And it struck me there might be something in here for your auntie's birthday. Oh, good idea. <gasps> ah, look at this. It's very nice, Mr. Gruber, but... I know, I know. It has to be perfect. Well, since Uncle Pastuzo died, I'm the only relative she's got left. And it isn't every day a bear turns a hundred. <laughs> Quite so. Ah! How about these rolling shoes? Please, Mr. Gruber, be serious. Back in a few minutes, Paddington. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, Mr. Giuseppe. Good afternoon. Welcome to Giuseppe's Grooming Salon. What can I do for you today, sir? A shave? A light pomade? Or is it just a brush? <gasps> Quick trim, barber. Oh, I'm not the barber. I just tidy up. Yeah, well, that's all I want. Tidy up the back and size, nothing off the top. Yes, but... No, but come on, man. Chop, chop. If you say so, sir. Hmm. Hmm. I may be about to shave a customer. Oh, thank goodness. Just putting you on hold! But I don't want to. It's only a haircut, Nelson. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come in. Take a seat. We'll go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. 
Just giving you some product, sir. Ah, got it, got it. Carry on. All done. I must say it's turned out a lot better than I expected. What the devil is that? It's uh, marmalade. Marmalade. Hairy marmalade. Well, get it off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, yuck. What is the matter with you? Captain Tom. Mr. Giuseppe, I can explain. It's really not as bad as it looks. Start a gardening club. How'd you like to be buried in a very deep hole? After you. Spooner R. Workshop. Brown P. Laundry duty. Right. Laundry. Laundry, laundry. Ah, laundry. Sock. What's the worst that can happen? Afternoon, chaps. If you ask me, the the pink really brightens the place up a bit. The ingredients are over there. Um, aren't you going to help? Nope. Now get on with it. But there's 500 hungry prisoners coming for breakfast, so we'll need a thousand juicy oranges. Oh, and, and rule number one: no talking. <laughs> Rule number two. Hmm? No humming. But or singing. I'll... Or any other expression of bon hummy.
These sacks are awfully heavy. Well, take them one at a time, then. Right. One at a time.